Hi everyone! Welcome to Art Class with Miss Justice. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create your own sketchbook. A sketchbook is a place where you can draw, color, paint, anything you want. It's also a great place to sketch out ideas for the projects that we're working on in class. To make a sketchbook, you need different types of paper. It could be white, colored, or lined paper, and you're also going to need a stapler. It's super simple, so let's get started. Okay, so to make our sketchbook, we're going to want to start by gathering our materials. You're going to want several sheets of plain white paper, maybe even some colored paper. That can be for your cover, or you can also put the colored paper inside, and you're going to want a stapler. Now I have a very small stapler that can only staple a few sheets. You might want a larger stapler for more papers. When you've chosen your cover paper, you're going to go ahead and take that page and fold it in half. And it's important when you're folding to really line up those corners and edges before you go down and make your crease. Now, once you've got your cover page folded, then you're going to take your white pages and we're going to go ahead and fold those in half as well. Now, I'm only folding two sheets of paper but feel free to fold as many papers as you want for your sketchbook. You can make lots of sketchbooks that only have a few pages, or you could make one sketchbook that has a ton of pages. It is totally up to you. Then you're gonna take all of the papers that you're going to put into your sketchbook, and you wanna open them up, and you want to take the crease of the paper and make the two creases touch so that they match. So they're all folding the same direction. And you're gonna load all of the pages for your sketchbook inside. Then you're ready to form your sketchbook and finalize it by taking that long edge that's folded and we're gonna take that stapler and we're just going to put, press the stapler onto that creased side. I like to do the middle one first and then I do the outside edges, and you can do as many or as few staples as you need. Once you have your paper stapled, then your sketchbook is complete and all of the white pages or lined papers are all inside. You can even add a cover if you're interested in decorating the front of your sketchbook. You could add your name or some designs. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our sketchbook tutorial. Be sure to check out my website that's below. Um, on the website, there are lots of links to things that you can put inside of your sketchbook. You can also follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and you can subscribe to this channel.